Hello everybody and welcome back. Well, we are going to take a look at a new Linux distribution, at least something that is new for me. It's called Deepin Linux. Now this came out uh, some time ago. It's a Chinese uh, distribution that was that is now available in both uh, Chinese and English. And we are going to take a look at the, of course, the English version. This is Deepin Linux 12.06. This is based on GNOME 3. Now, if you are a Windows user and are curious and have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry, you've come to the right place. I will post links below in the show notes so you can take a look for yourself. Now, now what I did here, I downloaded the uh, file. I downloaded the ISO file and just uh, booted off a live USB stick. And what I did, I used the uh, default, uh, the built-in screen recorder uh, I believe you hit Control Shift R or Control Shift Alt R. Can't remember, but it does a pretty good job of screen recording. Now the only thing there is no sound, so I will just do some voiceover narration. Now, as I said, Deep in Linux is based on GNOME, on GNOME 3. If you are a Linux user and are looking for an alternative to Unity, check out this. I found this to be really nice looking. Uh, dare I say Windows-ish in terms of the blue wallpaper and blue themes, but what I'm doing here, I just right-clicked and changed the wallpaper to something purplish. I mean, if I wanted, uh, you know, something that looks like Windows, I guess I could just boot into Windows. But anyway, that being said, uh, this only comes with two themes, Deepen and Adwaita, Adwada. Yeah, I'll take a glass of water. Thank you. All right, the uh, live user session there on the top right shortcuts. There is a shutdown feature that is not available in the standard GNOME 3 download. Of course, the uh, time and the date, time and date settings. And I will change this to the standard AM, PM or 12 hour format. Now I ran this off my uh, laptop power settings. One thing I've noticed with the power settings, it doesn't give an option. When power is critically low, it doesn't give an option that says do nothing. Now there is a way to customize it, but I feel that is an unnecessary uh, tweak. It should come with that by default in my opinion. It did read my wireless networks. Volume controls. And we can go into the uh, sound settings here. Take a look. If you're running Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Zorin, I'm sure you've seen this before. Uh, simple to navigate through and to. Notice the buttons there on the top right to exit out. It did read my laptop's brightness uh, hotkeys up and down function. Now the top panel bar is not, custom, is not customizable, meaning that you can't move it and you can't right click to add stuff. That's one thing I do miss in both GNOME 3 and Unity. There are some uh, shortcuts there to the top left. I was just playing with the, uh, what you saw there was a quick shortcut to the applications and window functions. This is the deep and media player and coming up is the Deepin Music Player. Again, simple-ish, Windows-ish in color. You know, if you want to call it that, I don't have a problem with that. It looks very pleasing on the eyes. It does come with the integration of the uh, menu controls on the top panel bar, such as, uh, you know, hotkeys, lyrics, and stuff like that. Again, very simple if you're a Windows user and wanted to try this I don't think you would have a problem. And there's the uh, quit function there on the top. All right, Firefox is installed by default. I don't believe I was actually connected to the internet because at the time I did this, it just wasn't necessary. But anyway, yeah. And click the red X button. The file manager looks Terrific. Uh, this is Nautilus. Um, I forget exactly what these uh, fonts or the folders are called in terms of how they look. Um, anyway, the name of uh, name escapes me. I'm sure one of you guys will remind me of what this is called. But this looks terrific. You have minimize, maximize, and close out buttons there on the top right. I don't believe you have those buttons in the standard GNOME 3 desktop environment. 
course you have the default shortcuts here on the desktop now this is where you can click the green start button if you want to call it that to get to the applications windows shortcuts there is a sh uh, search bar at the top right I love these colors uh, these these folders how they look you can squeeze a lot of folders here on the desktop scrolling up and down on the left you have these categorized from accessories games graphics internet office other and so on and so forth you know I just think this looks terrific and I found this to be really quite stable uh, running it off a USB stick it was a little bit slow but overall I really didn't see any glitches not one uh, let's see let's take a look at the deep and software center this is where if you are a Windows user or a Linux user for that matter this is where you will be probably be going to to download to search and download your favorite pieces of software you have home shortcut repository upgrades uninstall and download now I think this only has a thousand apps to choose from that may not seem like a lot considering the tens of thousands that are available available in a normal Linux OS distribution but really is is anybody really going to download and install thousands of apps most of us probably don't need more than I don't know 20 30 at the most well this has some of the uh, the top ones here my guess is that the uh, folks here picked the ones that are the most popular and the most stable such as chromium web browser and of course they are categorized there on the left internet multimedia games graphics so on and so forth again this is very pleasing on the eyes and if you wanted to install something over there to the far right you notice the install tabs buttons just click those to install for the purpose of this demonstration I didn't really install anything I just wanted to see how far I can go until this crashed or stopped and it didn't do either All right, so I exit out of this. Let's go into the Linux Deep and User Guide. This is where if you are coming from a Windows PC environment and wanted to learn more about a version of Linux, Linux Deep in is Linux Deep in is one Ubuntu derivative distribution that is targeted at improved usability featuring a carefully tweaked GNOME or GNOME 3 depending how you want to say it, GNOME 3 experience provide a stable simple and efficient operating system it felt that way to me I mean I really enjoyed playing with this and it says why choose Linux Deepin Linux Deepin 12.06 it's a uh, fork from the native GNOME shell as you see there you know um, if, if you are you know again coming from a Windows environment don't worry about all this technical talk it's not really that necessary I will post links below in the show notes like I said but I can tell you as a Windows dual booter I like what I see here and I may install this on one of my machines I'm not a an entirely big fan of GNOME 3 versus say uh, Linux Mint Mate uh, Linux Mint 13 the Mate Edition or Mate I like Unity and of course I use Windows 7 but GNOME 3 does have some some advantages and it looks slick when it's stable and this Linux Deepin does appear to be stable well this is it this is Linux Deepin uh, I found it to be stable bug free in the short time that I've used it installation was not a problem uh, one thing it runs a little slow and I believe on their website if I noticed it says they recommended a dual core machine to run this and at least one gigabyte of RAM so if you are trying to install this on an older machine you know bringing out of the closet or basement this may not function as smooth as it should so I probably will not recommend this for older machines you know newer machines multi cores multiple gigs of RAM should not be an issue but again if you are trying to install this on, a, on an older machine it simply may not work well that's it this is my look at Linux Deepin uh, Linux Deepin impressed me as a Windows dual booter recommended for you to at least uh, check it out and let me know what you guys think all right I think I will leave it at that uh, thank you so much for watching and as always I will catch you guys sometime in the future